Uh, let me tell you something, Mr. Daniel. You may not have pulled the trigger of the gun that fired the bullet into this young man, but you are just as responsible for his death as Mr. Hernandez was. And, and here's why. And I, this happens all the time. I'm in this room every week dealing with some situation like this. And, and the reason that we're here is because, and, and the why is what I don't understand. We now settle our grievances with guns. They're not any fights in the schoolyard anymore like they were when I was 18 years old. Y'all are kids. You were kids when this happened. You got some sort of a beef, we settle them with guns. That's why we set records every year for homicides in this community. That's how we settle our differences now. By God, if we disagree with your opinion, if we disagree with you, if we, if you, if we think that you wronged us, you pay for that disagreement with your life. And while you may not have pulled the trigger on that particular gun, you're just as responsible for your friend being dead and for these people suffering as if you had. Because if you hadn't gone to that fight with him, with a gun, he'd still be here. That's why the felony murder statute exists, son. And Ms. Falk is right. I see it all the time. She's absolutely right about that. But what, she, what she's wrong about is you don't get hardened to this. I see these faces in my sleep, son. And it's all because this whole generation of people are too immature to settle their differences like reasonable, rational people. We're not going to fight it out. We're not going to talk it out. We're not going to argue it out. We're going to shoot it out. Blood runs on just about every street in this town. And it's because of really bad decisions that you made, Mr. Hernandez made, and that so many other people made. <laughs> and so we wind up in this room with two broken families. One on that side, one on that side. These people on this side, they're not ever going to see that kid again. The people on this side are going to have to go to penitentiary to visit that one. One of them winds up in that chair, one of them winds up on each screen with a number underneath his chin. That's the problem. I don't understand it, I've never understand it, and the day they put me in the ground, I won't understand it. And so did you know. It bothers the hell out of me. I feel sometimes like I've sent half a generation of kids to the penitentiary for just this kind of stupidity. And that's what it is, son. You can call it pride, you can call it saving face, you can call it standing up, but it's stupidity. At the end of the day, it's stupidity. People don't think. They act, and they act with a pistol. When you when you pull a pistol out, somebody's gonna die most of the time around here. This time it was your friend and their son and their brother. Could have been you. Could have been your face up there with the number underneath your chin. We had a conversation with somebody else. <coughs> You'll get out. At some point, son, you'll get out. But you're going to have a long time to think about it. Think about why you were there to start with, with a gun. But whatever dispute you had, Mr. Hernandez, it wasn't worth what's about to happen in this room. 
I promise you that. It wasn't worth what happened to those folks on the other side of the room. And it wasn't worth what happened to your daddy and your granddaddy, what's about to happen to your daddy and your granddaddy. There's no way it was worth it. You could have just gone on. But you chose not to. You chose to go there. You chose to go there with a gun. And you chose to get in this fight that wound up getting your friend killed. So I'm going to say to you one more time, and it's the last thing I'm going to say to you before I pronounce the sentence. You are just as responsible for that young man being dead as if you had pulled the trigger and put the gun to his head yourself. So I'm going to count three. I said the letter included offense of voluntary manslaughter. I sentenced you to 20 years in the penitentiary. Count five required me by law to sentence you to five years in the penitentiary consecutive to that. Good luck. Anthony Milton. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Anthony Milton. Anthony Milton. Anthony Milton. Anthony Milton. Thank you.